We're looking at homeowner activity for some guidance on the health of the economy. Hello and thanks for joining us for this week's Fastest 4 Minutes in Finance. I'm Scott Inman. Well, twice a year, the LPL research team puts together a market outlook. They release one in January and then the second in July. The mid-year market outlook is built a look ahead for the final six months of the year at the economy, the stock market, and other asset classes. The headline from this summer's outlook, the LPL research team believes the economy is slowing but will not likely slip into a recession this year. Now, if you follow the fastest four, you may be thinking, didn't LPL think there would be a recession in 2022 and maybe in 2023? Well, the answer is yes, but in the mid-year outlook, they actually give us some thoughts on where they missed and it's in the housing market. You may remember the reason given for strong consumer spending in the months and years following the COVID-19 pandemic was all of that stimulus money. And that reason was given for a long time. And if you're like me, you may have wondered, how did that money last for so long? Well, it turns out there may have been another source of strong consumer spending. Take a look at this chart. It shows home refinancing activity overlaid onto home purchases. You can see the spike in 2003 and again in late 2020 when rates were very low. LPL reports that one third of all U.S. mortgages were refinanced in the months following the 2020 recession. In fact, according to the Federal Housing Finance Agency, roughly half of all mortgages now have an interest rate below 4%. The impact of this activity on consumer spending was twofold. First, homeowners lowered their monthly payment, thereby giving them more disposable income. The New York Fed estimates that homeowners' average gain was $220 per month from refinancing in the months following the 2020 recession. Now, look at this chart. The light blue here shows the billions of dollars in tapped home equity from those refinances. You can see in 2021, homeowners accessed about $70 billion in home equity. That money helped buoy consumer spending as well. There are also more and more American homeowners living without a mortgage, by the way. Look at this chart. The dark blue column represents the almost 40% of consumers who own a home but still have a mortgage. The light blue column represents about 30% of homeowners who do not have a mortgage. And a little more than 30% you can see are renting. As we know, consumer spending drives about 70% of the U.S. economy. If the stimulus money drove spending, followed by homeowners gaining more disposable income and cashing out home equity, what happens next? Well, LPL says consumer spending is showing signs of stalling out. Their team expects slower spending in the second half of the year. Combined with other factors, they expect an economic slowdown, but again, no recession. Thanks for watching. Thanks Want for to listening. become smarter financially in four minutes or less? Sign up at fastest4.com to get insights and updates like this delivered to your inbox weekly.